Yo guys, this is Sal from ICTS Solutions. I'll be reviewing the uh, uh, Nest Protected Second Generation Smoke and Carbon Monoxide uh, Alarm Battery Operated, um, which I bought from PC World um, for um, about eighty-nine um, uh, pounds. So um, uh, what this is, it's um, um, a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide in um, one which can be operated by um, any um, uh, devices such as um, iPhone and um, Samsung. Okay, so um, uh, what it does is it's um, a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide which uh, detects onto your um, iPhone and the iPhone is uh, connected through um, Wi Fi. So let's meet the uh, all new Nest uh, Protect. Uh, Nest Protect has been uh, redesigned from the inside out. It has an industrial grade smoke sensor, can be silenced from your iPhone, tests itself automatically, and tests for up to 10 years. It also tells you um, what's wrong and can even alert your phone. Um, when I say phone, it could be an um, iPhone or um, a Samsung. Uh, where you can actually download the app from, if it's Apple, you can obviously download it from uh, Apple's or if it's um, a Samsung, obviously um, you could download from the um, Samsung store. So, the smoke alarm, other alarms look up to. Okay, you'll know from anywhere. Nest Protect alerts your phone when something wrong in case you're not at home. So basically if you're at home, um, um, this can be uh, uh, searched on your um, iPhone where you can obviously um, uh, figure out what's going on at home if uh, it's obviously alerts, it sends you alert. Um, I think it sends you alert through a um, uh, text. Okay, so it looks for both fast and uh, slow burning, burning fires. Uh, the split spectrum sensor used two waves, length, or uh, light to uh, detect. Um, smoke. Uh, Nest Protect is uh, the first um, alarm you can silence from your phone. Uh, barely turn the um, popcorn, get a friend's heads up that you can uh, silence using the uh, Nest app. It tells you if there's smoke or uh, carbon monoxide. Uh, like the old ones, um, obviously you have to uh, purchase a separate uh, a smoke detector and also um, a separate term uh, carbon monoxide detector as well. So with this one, um, you only have to uh, purchase uh, one, so it's basically two in one. So uh, the long lasting sensor keeps you safe and sounds um, for up to um, uh, 10 years. And uh, obviously gives you a night, uh, nightly promise that the battery will test the night. Every second counts, the split spectrum sensor detects fast and slow burning fires. It can see the invisible um, uh, poisonous carbon monoxide that you can test. Okay, so here's the uh, my next uh, nest box uh, which I've not opened up. So I shall be opening this up uh, now to obviously um, uh, take out what's in there. taking long and um, I've not opened this so I haven't even checked what's in there okay so these um, uh, look like instructions so what we got here is um, obviously instructions Okay, so inside the box. We have your um, uh, nest, um, uh, smoke and uh, carbon monoxide. Uh, 
then uh, we have the um, uh, bracket, ceiling bracket, or it can be also put on the um, wall as well. And you should have um, also four screws, um, Philip, um, head. So if you just put that out of the way. So this is the um, uh, nest. Okay. So it looks after you for up to 10 years. It tests itself for you. Don't have to. Uh, it uh, reduces um, uh, false alarm by looking for um, steam. It lights your way at night. So um, uh, when you stumble out of bed, uh, for a glass of uh, milk uh, will light your way you can uh, adjust the brightness uh, in the nest as well <coughs> okay so that's the nest so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pull this out and hopefully this should um, uh, light up uh, green hello from nest ready Press to test. Okay, so I'm just going to press to test. Ready. Press to test. Ready. Press to test. Ready. Press to test. And um, uh, we have uh, six batteries. Um, it's uh, rechargeable batteries and they should last you up to um, uh, five years. Okay. Ready. Press to test. Ready. Press to test. Ready. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, Okay, so eight, I'm just going to seven, um, uh, test the six, alarm. I'm just going five, to cancel it for now. Four, cancelled. Okay, that's been cancelled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, connect this up to uh, my iPhone. Um, uh, I've not done, done this before, so you just have to uh, bear with me. Okay, um, uh, once you've downloaded the um, app, uh, the app itself is called uh, Nest. Okay, so if you just um, follow the instructions on your um, iPhone. Okay, so obviously uh, enter your home name, so I'm just going to enter... Um, uh, I'm going to put it away from the kitchen, so I'm going to call stairways. Okay, and uh, click on next. Enter your home address. Um, okay, so I'm just going to put in my home address. I think I'll just ignore that for now. Well, they won't let me do it, so I'm just going to enter my postcode. Okay, the postcode is in, so if you just click on uh, uh, do you want to use your phone location for home away assist? Uh, just click on OK. Use phone. OK, click on allow. And hopefully it should come up on uh, my Google. If you just click done. Read the app, so no thanks, not now. Maybe later on. Get started. 
Okay, uh, add your name and photo so that others in your household can see who you are. Um, okay, I'm just going to enter my name in there. I won't add the photo, I'll probably add it to my later on. And I'm the owner. That's just, uh, then you'll get this uh, page, so obviously we'll pick the uh, nest um, or thermostat. Actually, that's the wrong one. Nest Protect. Nest would like to access the camera. Okay. So once that is done, um, uh, you should have the um, uh, scan the code. So obviously we've got a code here. Okay, make sure that you have all the Nest Protect your setting up and uh, well as uh, Wi-Fi ladder screw. Okay, click next. Turn Bluetooth on. Okay. Choose the indoor space that uh, best fits your Protect location. Follow the placement guidance recommended in the Nest Protect user guide. So I'll just use the um, entryway. I'll just click the entryway, look up next protect. Ready. Press to test. Next. It says go to your iPhone Wi-Fi setting, connect to the Wi-Fi network called Nest E65. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to connect up our um, Nest to a Wi-Fi. And if we go, it says Nest E635. Okay, so now that is connected. And let's go back into app. So now it's um, uh, trying to connect up. Okay, so I believe it's trying to look for my Wi-Fi. Which Wi-Fi network um, should your Nest Protect use? Okay, just use that. Okay, um, I just need to uh, enter the password. Then obviously um, it's all connected up. So once the password is um, uh, entered, so this is the stage um, it's got to, so it's uh, trying to uh, locate the uh, my nest. Okay, the next step is um, uh, path light, so it's entirely up to you if you want to um, uh, leave it switched on or uh, you can leave it um, switched off. So I'm just going to leave it um, switched on for now. So then click next. Connected. Okay, so that's um, uh, connected. Uh, that's all it is to it. So thanks for watching my video. And uh, please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel for um, further videos. Thank you.